Google's Android Nexus Player is a fantastic piece of kit. And I find myself streaming from it almost daily. If I'm not streaming from it, I'm probably casting to it using another one of the apps that isn't available from the default Android player device. I'm running the default Nexus plain vanilla Android 6.0 Marshmallow operating system but with a couple tweaks I've been able to sideload some apps that make getting around this HBO Go problem a little bit easier. If you install the HBO Go app from the default location using search you'll see you've got three different options for HBO. You want the HBO Go not the HBO Now. Install that and after a minute you can launch the application. When you get into that application you're going to see where it asks you to enter an activation code. And that activation code needs to go on to a website where you click activate using your previous subscription account to your TV provider. So if you log on to your browser and go to hbogo.com slash activate, you will see that there's a list of devices there. Fire TV, other Android players, the Roku, all of these are going to have the same problem when you go to activate them if you have a Comcast Xfinity account. So when you get to your device after you choose that you'll see the options for your main TV providers and Xfinity isn't listed there. It doesn't say Comcast either. So if you search down where they have a listing of additional providers. You can see Comcast isn't listed there and when you search a little further down all the way down to where the X's would be there is no option for Xfinity. So what you need to do is get that HBO Go APK downloaded and you're going to manually install it. If you go to Google Play the store from that browser Make sure you're logged in from the same account as you are on your Nexus player and you can search for ES File Explorer. There will be a couple options here as well. You just need the plain original ES File Explorer, that first option. Once you have your ES File Explorer installed, you're going to need to go to your cloud service and put the APK inside of your cloud service. So here you can see after I've clicked install on the ES Explorer, you can see that my Android Nexus player already has it installed. But there you'd have the option to install it. After that, you're going to take that app and put it into your cloud service. Go back out from your HBO Go app, click into your HBO Go app and hold down and move it to the trash so that you can uninstall the app that you just had previously downloaded. Go to ES File Explorer and there you're going to go down to your cloud service. If you have a Bluetooth mouse it's going to come in handy in order to install this. So you're going to go to the location in your cloud storage where you have that APK installed and launch that APK. After a couple minutes or however long it may take for your connection to get that file, you'll be able to have some options and one of them's install. Click the install button and that'll begin the installation process for that HBO Go app. And this app is more like the app that you would have on your phone. It's a touch-based app and that's what makes having the mouse so important to trying to do this process. You click sign in and if you see there 
in the bottom right hand corner you now have your Xfinity listed which is your Comcast account click on that Xfinity and it'll bring you to a sign-in screen once you get to that sign-in screen you enter your Comcast information and you'll be taken to the home page where you can then navigate around using your mouse if you have a wireless keyboard that's going to pair well with your mouse in order to navigate this application if you try to use the remote that comes with the Android device or the controller that's made specifically for the Nexus player you're going to have a hard time navigating these menus if you use the mouse it's much easier because again this is a touch based application made just like it is for your phone if you do get into those options with just the mouse then what you're going to have to do when it pulls up a keyboard is use the keyboard to navigate through the different letters but I would suggest getting a Bluetooth keyboard. It's going to make that navigation process and typing the letters in much easier. So you can see you've got your home screen, you've got your series, you've got your different options with this HBO Go app. Now if you go back out and you want to actually launch that app again, you're going to need Sideload Launcher, which is going to actually help you launch those apps so if you go in there and you try and hold it down and try and uninstall it from there if you don't like it it's not going to do it what you need to go in is go back to your settings go into your applications and if you go in and choose that HBO Go app then you'll have the option there just like you would with any of the other apps to click the uninstall and then that'll remove the application from your device that way but again if you need to relaunch that you're going to have to go into your sideload launcher. That's the only way where that HBO Go app that we just sideload into your Nexus player is going to launch.